Hey, welcome back to the channel, guys. This is my video for Legendary Bout Bonds of Friendship, where you play with Zack. It's Cloud and Zack, so two people you get to control. You've got 10 bosses to fight in this, so it's quite a marathon. I do this in 10 minutes 37. The reason the video is a bit longer than that is because what I've done during all the actions, I've kind of left the action idling for a few seconds to give you more chance to see what I'm doing. And I'll explain you through all of this, guys. You can't really cheese it like you can with Yuffie and her Brimal form. Um, but some pretty good strategies here. And those you do have trouble with, you might just have to go back to the summon or Fiend Intel and practice that specific boss there. And you can kind of solo it yourself with Cloud. Now for weapons, we've got Rune Blade. Yeah, the Rune Blade. It's weapon level 8. Yeah, we've got a Cetron Bracer. If you're weapon level 9, this will be even easier. Just because you'll do a bit more damage. And for the accessory, we've got the Genji Gloves. Now for the material, we've got Magic Focused. Linked to Lightning and Wind. We've got HP Absorb. Linked to Wind. We've got Enemy Skill. And A to B Boost. Basically, Wind is your main means of damage in this one. We've got Phoenix Summoning Materia. Yeah, most of the enemies are more weak to Wind throughout these bouts. We've got First Strike. We've got Magic Up. And we've got Wind linked to Swift Cast. We've got Wind linked to MP Absorb. And we've got Fire and Ice linked to Elemental in your armor. So you absorb fire and ice damage. Now for weapon skills, we've got magic attack power plus 20, A to B charge rate up, full power magic, and enemy parts damage up. Now if you need to change any material around, I mean, that's a real good setup we've got there, but if you need to, you could probably change out swift cast and wind or elemental and fire and ice. I'll leave it up to you, but that's a really good setup we've got there for these strategies. Now in the folios, because all you're using is Zack, you want to make sure you've unlocked all the stat boosts and everything. So to get the required SP, what you can do is basically reset the synergy skills which you need another character for because you're not going to be using them. But make sure you've got the purple abilities active and unlocked because they actually strengthen your magic. But yeah, make sure all stat boosts are unlocked guys and all the purple abilities and limit break course. And in order to get enough SP, like I say, just reset them course which relate it to an ability which you need another character for because we're not going to be using them here you can buy them all again later this is just for the specific uh, specific bouts so bonds of friendship yep pick zack first and then cloud second yeah me and zack are no longer friends after this i've had enough but yeah you need to pick zack first and cloud second just so he gets the aggro to begin with with the enemies so straight away for this first one keep spamming the back buttons to open tactical mode keep spamming them that's it. And then you stop as Zack. Now, if you've done this quick enough, he wouldn't have had a chance to summon his shield. You stop as Zack. Straight away, over to Cloud. Use 8B boost. Hold square to shoot over to Titan. Use Prime mode. Then quickly switch to Zack. Hold square to do three attacks. And then hold square again to do three attacks, which will send you downwards. Switch back to Cloud. And then hold square in Prime mode and start building up to A to B. In the meantime, you should have activated Fury. And then once you've got 2 A to B and you've triggered Fury, you want to use Wind level 3, Aero level 3. Then while you're casting it, switch to Zack. Do a combo of 3 by holding square. And then back to Cloud. And then as soon as he becomes pressured and knocked out of the stop, use Zack to stop him again. That's it. Then straight away, as Cloud again, build up 2 A to B and use Wind level 3. And that should stagger him. Back to Zack. Do another three hits. Then back to Cloud. That's it. It's pretty much dead. Then just back to Cloud. Hold square to build up to A to B. And then use another arrow level three, guys. Win level three. Yeah, when it comes to Prime, the Prime ability is basically like a, a stronger version of Punisher mode. Always hold square of it. Basically, on like a third or fourth hit in that combo where you hold square, the third it will activate Berserker and the fourth will activate Fury. Fury is basically a stronger version of Berserker. It will grant you more increase in damage, but it will take, obviously you take more increase in damage you receive as well. So this one straight away, switch to Cloud, dash out the way, use A to B boost, and then use Prime Mode. 
and then straight away hold square and start building up to A to B. That's it, once you're done, use wind level three. Wind level three. And then straight away back over to Zack, hold square, do a combo of three. And then a combo of three again to go down and then quickly dash away before he does this attack. Now, as he comes down after that attack, you stop on him. And then once stop takes effect, like so, switch over to clouds, zoom in forward with make sure you're in prime and build up to A to B again by holding square. As soon as you've got a 2A to B, wind level 3. And then back over to Zack, quickly build up 2A to B with Zack. Once you've got 2A to B, dash away a little bit and use stop again. Make sure the enemy's on the ground when you do so. Straight after, use faith on cloud. Use faith on cloud, so stop and then faith on cloud. And then straight away back over to cloud. Build up 2A to B one more time and then finish the boss off with one more wind level 3. If you don't use Faith, you won't quite do enough damage to finish him off on that final spell cast. And remember, when you're using level two magic, uh, sorry, level three magic, you've got kind of like super poise, you can't be interrupted. There's odd attacks which can still interrupt you, but most of them, you can't be interrupted guys when you're doing a level three spell. Right, this one's quite easy. Because with Elemental and Fire, it's going to heal you up. So what we're going to do straight away, with Zack, we're going to use Faith on Cloud. Faith increases your magic damage. We'll be doing the same on the Sephiroth fight, but you'll be using Faith yourself. Because Sephiroth don't have empower Empowerment materia. So yeah, Faith on Cloud to begin with. Let's switch over to Cloud. Now do not use A to B boost here. Save your A to B boost. And what you want to do is build up 2A to B. Then you want to enter prime mode. Yep, and then just keep holding square to attack him when you can. And whenever he summons an enemy, so first will be flan, and destroy them with wind level 2. Yeah, don't use wind level 3, that's pretty much overkill. 50,000 damage on Titan, probably a bit overkill, but yeah, you don't want to waste the A to B here. So yeah, wind level 2 on the flan, and again, just hold square and keep damaging the Phoenix. Like I say, it won't damage you because you've got Elemental on fire. It makes this fight mega easy. So each time you see Birth of Creation, that's when it's going to summon one of its enemies to help it. When it it's when it opens its wings up, that's when the enemy spawns. So straight away, kill the bomb with Wind level 2. Now final enemy, you can't damage the phoenix until you destroy the enemies it's tethered to. You can't kill them until it gives birth to them. Now next time it does birth of creation, make sure you've got two... Yeah, here we go. Well, breath of creation. Make sure you've got fury mode. You've got two A to Bs ready. Use wind level two on the ground horn as soon as it summons it. And then straight away, use A to B boost to get two A to B bars. That's it. Then as soon as the phoenix becomes pressured, use ice level 3. This is why we kept that A to B boost guys, so we can get two A to B straight after killing that ground horn. That's it, ice level 3. And you can do ice level 3 with Zack as well. And then just go to town with Cloud and then do one more ice level 3 guys and it should be dead. And then after that, if it's still not dead, just build up some more A to B guys and use a wind level 3. You can't really use the eyes when it's moving about because you will lob the spell, it'll create that massive ice crystal and then the enemy will fly out of the way so it won't damage it. Now you've got to be mega quick here. Quickly switch the cloud, dash away about 2 o'clock direction, use A to B boost and then use fire level 3. A to B boost and then fire level 3 but dash out of the way first after switching to cloud. Now, as soon as it becomes pressured, stop him with Zack. Yeah, you stop with Zack. And then switch back to Cloud. Go into Punisher mode. Hold square to enter Berserker. And then keep spamming square, guys, to build up 2A to B. As soon as it's built up 2A to B, 
use fire level 3 and then switch sack and sack needs to build up one HP quickly. As soon as you've got one HP, switch back to Cloud and then use Tactical Mode and have Zack use Faith on Cloud. And as soon as he becomes staggered after this fire level 3, you need straight away use Punisher Mode, activate Berserker, and then keep spamming square, build up 2 HP quickly and use that fire level 3. If you're quick enough to hit him while he's staggered, you've with Faith level 3, with Faith up as well, and of course Berserker, it should kill him. Yeah, that's why you got to be really quick on that. If you don't get him with that fire level 3, that third one, when he's staggered, you might not kill him. He'll only have like a tiny bit of health left. So if you don't quite finish him off because you missed his staggered window, then just attack him a few times, guys, and lob another fire, probably level 2, to finish him off. Now, this one, you need to be quick with this one. So straight away... Yep, Zach's going to use Faith on Cloud... Yeah, so straight away, Zach's going to use Faith on Cloud. Cloud's going to dodge out of the way. You're going to switch Cloud, dodge out of the way. Enter Prime Mode. Well, use A to B boost first, then enter Prime Mode. That's it. And now start building A to B, guys. Now, be very careful with this. If it does Ferocious Lion, you need to dash out of the way. Otherwise, you'll become stunned for about 20 seconds. It will mess us up. And if it does Thunder or Storm, start dashing out of the way. Most rares you can just block while in prime mode. You take a bit of damage, but you'll counter and get loads of ATB in return. And what you want to do is keep building up your 2 ATB and then using wind level 3. But use wind only when he's trying to summon the elements, like he did then. Yeah, this is why you've got to be really careful. Do not go in for too many attacks at once, otherwise that can happen. You can block them attacks. Any melee attacks, guys, you can block with... You know, prime mode while holding the block button. Yeah, so again, as soon as you spawn the elements, you need to be ready to lob wind level 3. So you've got to kind of try to build up to A to B's ready. You kind of know when he's going to do it, so he'll kind of... If he's not quite lined up, he'll kind of jump. Or sometimes you will do it straight after Thunder Storm, like so. Just be ready to lob out wind level 3 straight away. Yeah, so where he's going to do it again. This is where Swift Cast comes in useful. So you literally cast it so quickly. Now, if he does manage to hit the crystals and absorb an element, because you absorb fire and ice, get rid of, if there's wind which appears, or lightning, get rid of that one first. Because you, you do not want him doing wind or lightning attacks on you. Uh, because you don't absorb them. And normally if he absorbs two elements. When you attack him with that element twice. With two level 3 magic. That element disappears after two level 3 attacks. So that's why you want to use the one you're not immune to first. Get rid of that one first. And then on the last one. Kind of you absorb the damage at the same time. Trying to get rid of him. But yeah that's pretty much it guys. Just keep... Building up A to B. Getting a few attacks in. Each time you want to try and build up that Berserker. Uh, sorry, not Berserker. That Fury buff as well. On yourself so you do more damage. Yeah, if you need some practice with that, guys. Try the Summon. Yeah, go on the Summon Sim in the Challenges menu. And practice that if you want. Just try to do it yourself with Cloud with this build, I guess. Now, I, I in Clad. If you want to practice him, you have to do it on Cloud Solo Bout. The legendary one. So straight away, Zack's going to use Faith on Cloud. Ironclad does a lot of damage, so be very careful. Yeah, straight away, use Faith on Cloud. Switch, switch over to Cloud and use Prime. Enter Prime mode. And the key to this guy is to stay behind him. He's got a few attacks which will kind of swing around, but most of them, they're kind of hit in front of him vertical. So as long as you stay behind him, most of them miss you. And the idea is, guys, to keep building up ATB by holding square, obviously, so you get the, the um, Fury buff. And then you swing level 3 when you can. He's weak to Lightning, so you can use that sometimes you want to. But the thing is, if you take damage, the Wind will be healing you up at the same time. So that's why it's sometimes better to, to just use Wind. 
once you've hit him with a level 3, he will be stunned for a few seconds, but he recovers quickly, so don't go in for too many hits. And if you see his massive attack, the Thanatonium Blade or something, get out of the way. Get way back behind him out of the way, so he's got quite a big AoE. But if you just get to a good distance behind him, it should miss you. His Grand Sword attack, he'll always hit down vertically in front of him three times. Just get behind him to avoid that. Yeah, Condemned, get behind him to avoid that one as well. Yeah, I always stay behind him on the back of his right foot. That always seems to be good. Sometimes he might swing his arm around or sword. If you see that coming, kind of a dodge in the direction he's spinning. Yeah, so if he's spinning anti-clockwise, dodge anti-clockwise as well. So you're kind of dodging away from him, from where he's turning to. Right, Alexander. So for this one, straight away, Zach's going to use Faith on Cloud. Now these two arms, we want to kill them both in one hit quickly. It is possible with this setup. So Faith on Cloud. Yep, the Cloud's going to make his way over to his arm. Then he's going to A to B boost and use Prime Mode. Right, so now we're going to build up two A to Bs, but we always want to make sure we've got Fury. Very important, you've got Fury active as well. Now some of these attacks, because most of them projectiles, you can actually avoid them with um, R1, the synergy ability between you both, counter fire. So if you see the tracker beam come in, hold R1 and press X. And once you've got two four A to Bs guys, you've got Fury active and Faith. Use Thunder level two on each arm and that'll kill them both. As soon as you've done so, get behind him. Because you're kind of out of the way for most of his attacks here. Once behind him, make sure you're in prime mode and just keep attacking him until you build up two A to Bs and then you still wind level three. Do the same again. Build up two A to Bs win level 3 and then that should stagger him and then once you stagger just repeat that guys prime mode attack until built up to 80 bs and then win level 3 to finish him off you only need to use thunder level 2 on the arms that's to kill him in two hits there's no need to really do it on the main boss himself yeah he's sweet to lightning there's not really much need to do it and make sure you kill him while he's staggered if you let him recover he'll call his arms back and then you have to destroy them again but remember, Cloud with Faith and Fury active. He can destroy both arms in one hit each with Thunder level 2. So the Mind Flare next. So we're going to use Faith on Cloud. Yeah, Faith on Cloud to begin with. And once Zack builds up enough A to B, you're going to use Mana Wall on Cloud as well. Because if the boss gets a chance to do Eldritch Horror, hopefully that'll help you survive it. I never really get hit with it on this. I, I guess because I just kill him so quick. But just in case, always have Mana Wall active. If that runs out, guys, have Zack recast it. Yeah, then basically switch over to Cloud, use A to B boost, use Prime Mode, build up to A to B, guys, and then just keep using Wind level 3 on the Mind Flayer. He's resistant to magic, so he won't do a massive amount of damage. But it's quite effective, it'll heal you up, recover your MP, and knock him down for a few seconds. If you just that attack, I'll do just Horror. Get out of the way. Uh, sorry, that's not the one yet. And that lightning attack, forgot the name now. But yeah, if he does that, get out of the way. Because that can do quite a lot of damage. Yeah, like I say, as soon as Mana Wall, cast it on Cloud. Yeah, as soon as Zack's got an A to B, cast it on Cloud. That's it, then switch back to Cloud and just keep smashing him. You see Telekinesis? You can actually just keep hitting him through that. If you've got Mana Wall active, it shouldn't do too much damage. And remember, as soon as you cast Wind, you're going to heal up. So if you take damage during the animation, you're going to get it back as soon as you release the magic. Now when he starts this attack, Psychotic Break, either quickly get off a of Wind level 3 to knock him out of the animation, or hide behind a rock. Yeah, nothing embarrassing guys, if you need to hide behind a rock, don't be embarrassed to do so. Yeah, I always like to try and do that though. Be ready and cast a Wind level 3 to knock him out of it. And then should continue doing that, guys. Like I say, watch Mana Wall. If it wears off, cast it again. Oh, that's one. Astral Apprehension. Yeah, if you see that, get out of the way. He's got another attack, which he'll, he'll kind of spawn and he'll kind of lob tentacles at you. But it's close range, so you want to quickly dodge out where that one. Basically, whenever he reappears, get out of the way. Unless it's Psychotic Break. Yeah, this one, Sinister Seizure. Quickly dodge away. 
Then get back in close and repeat. I guess you could use a synergy skill. If you use another command with Zack, that would pressure him. And pretty much KO'd. Yeah, once you stagger him, that's pretty much game over. Right, two more to go. And these are ones which get quite tricky. Yeah, so Behemoth. I still don't quite understand exactly what makes him transform and go into Neo Drive. I think it's related to damage and other stuff. Blocking, how many attacks you block, how many times he connects. But to begin with, use Faith on Cloud. Yes, Faith on Cloud. Then switch over to Cloud, dash away. Use Prime Mode. He's going to come for you in a second. Now, when he's not transformed, most of his atta attacks are projectile based. So, you won't block him in Prime Mode, you need to use Normal Mode and block, or use Counter Fire, like this. Yeah, so use Counter Fire to block these, just block him, Flame Breath, Counter Fire, remember hold R1 and press X. Nova Bomb, again, wait for it to be about to hit you, hold R1 and press X to block it. Now the, the grab. Yeah, quite tricky to dodge, unless you can perfectly block it. But you might want to just let him grab you, with Sephiroth, I actually just let him grab me intentionally. Yep, and um, while, if you do get grabbed, use Zack to build up some A to B, and then use Mana Wall on Cloud, and then use Haste on Cloud as well. So you might want to let yourself get grabbed, then a Zack, you're free to attack him, build up A to B, yeah, use Mana Wall on Cloud, and then Haste on Cloud. Then back over to Cloud, getting close, now we use Wind Level 2 on each of the wings. So Wind Level 2 on the right wing, and then wind level 2 on the left. And with faith active with this build, that should destroy each of them in one hit. That's it. Then make sure you're in prime mode, get close guys, and start building up to A to B. And activate Fury as well. That's it. Once you've got 2A to B guys, she's wind level 3 on Behemoth. Try to be quick while he is still pressured. That's it. And then she keeps smashing him to bits. He'll transform now. Now once he transforms, just hold block. You can block these ones. Yeah, when he gets out of blades, most of his attacks are melee based. Yeah, so block these in primate. You build up quite a lot of A to B in the meantime. Yep, and then once he starts particle charging again. Again, as Cloud, use wind level 2 on each of the wings. Yeah, wind level 2 on each of the wings. And then build up A to B. And then we'll use wind level 3. On Behemoth. Be careful you don't use win level 3 by accident on the wings. That's what I've done a few times because it's already on level 3 from the previous use. Yep, so once you destroy both the wings, use win level 3 on Behemoth. We've got two ATBs. Yeah, so the, the way I remember, if he's got the blades out, most of his attacks are melee based. But if his blades are in, if he's not using the blades, then most of his attacks you need counter fire or block in normal mode. Yeah, so I just got grabbed. So while I'm grabbed, I'm going to use Zack to build up some A to B. And you might want to use Mana Wall. Yeah, if Mana Wall's worn off, use it again on Cloud. And heal up Zack if you need to. Yeah, because if he enters Neo Drive, he does crazy damage. That's why you need Mana Wall active. That's it. And you can use the Synergy Attack if you need to. So here we go, Neo Drive mode. Yeah, so he's pretty much, you want to try uh, stagger him just before he enters Neo Drive. He's almost staggered. There we go. Yeah, if you're quick, you can normally stagger him, guys, before he enters Neo Drive. So once he enters staggered, as Cloud, just keep building up ATB. Use win level 3. Do it again. Hopefully you can finish him off, guys. But because you staggered him now, he should go back to normal once he gets up. And there we go, that's Behemoth. Yeah, it takes quite a bit of practice, that one. What I would do, like I say, I would... Using the tips I provided, try to do him so though, on full might, in the summon sim, that will help, and then we've got Odin. Yeah, the enemies are mega buffed up on Legendary, even worse and brutal. So straight away, use Faith on Cloud. Yes, Faith on Cloud. Yep, then ask Cloud, wait for him to do his first attack, and then enter Prime Mode. And they're going to start to build up... A to B. Be careful. 
Yeah, you need to kind of know Odin a little bit, guys. So, yeah, make sure in prime mode. If you see an attack coming, just block it in prime mode. You take a bit of damage, but you'll get loads of A to B back. And as soon as you've got two A to B, use win level three. And once Zack has got an A to B bar, guys, cast Mana Wall on Cloud. Now, when you do that attack, Sub Nurse Fura, dodge out the way so she does a small AoE blast. Then get back in close and start building up A to B again, guys, as Cloud. Once get two A to Bs, use win level three. You need to be quick before he's not pressured no longer. We need to try to quickly stagger him. Quickly build up A to B again. Like I say, if you hold block in prime mode, you'll block most of his attacks and get loads of A to B back in the process. And also fill up his stagger bar quite nicely. So once you staggered, win level three. Quickly build up two A to B again. And again, win level three. Here we go, yeah. Once Zack's got an A to B, use a mana wall on cloud. Odin does massive damage on this bout. There we go, almost got him. Yep, yeah, now once he does, once got him quite low, he'll do spatial distortion, and shortly after, well at some point he'll to do temporal imprisonment, where will imprison your current party member, which you're controlling. What I normally do, once I get into about this health, and he does spatial distortion, I switch over to, to Zack, and they start using Zack so that he becomes imprisoned. Yep, so as soon as he does temporal imprisonment, I'm going to switch back over. There we go. Because I was controlling Zack, he's going to get imprisoned. Then I switch over to Clouds, build up some A to B, get some free hits in there while he's doing that move. Ring of Helheim is quite tricky to dodge. As soon as you see it coming, you have to dash, dash out of the way of the circle quickly. Right, and as soon as you build up two A to B, guys. That's it, win level 3, and that should finish him off. The good thing about level 3 offensive spells with Odin, is oh, okay. even if he does reprisal, you will still do the attack because it cannot stun you. So yeah, I think you always need to use level 3 spells with Odin. That's the only way to get past reprisal and still do the attack. But yeah, that's it guys, Bonds of Friendship, 10 minutes 37. It's longer, because obviously I sat idling. I think when you're tactical mode, time kind of slows down as well, when it comes to time at the end. But yeah, that's Bunch of Friendship, guys. Up next is Sephiroth. Going to use very similar setup for that, then, but you'll see once I upload that video. Thank you for watching, guys, and I'll see you then.